I guess all art arguably is the celebration of beauty. Beauty is perceived or beauty as to be prescribed or presented. Indian cinema or Bollywood more specifically has always used the heroine for a major portion at least if not always as a personification of beauty. I could give you endless number of songs that celebrate the beauty of the Hindi film heroine some other time some other list. Today I'm going to look out at the five most beautiful actresses of Indian cinema or more particularly Bollywood cinema. Therefore there is no Aparna Sen, there is no Savitri. I'm going to move away from all other regional cinema and talk only of Hindi cinema. I'm taking my five best. All lists by definition are subjective and are inclusive. My five may not tally with somebody else's five, but I have my reasons for why I choose these five as the five most beautiful actresses of Indian cinema, Hindi cinema. Whenever I say Indian cinema, here and after, it means Hindi cinema. The fifth position or at five, I'm not putting them at one, two, three, four, five, but roughly yes, at five, is somebody who was born in 1936 in South India. She became a second generation actress, but far superior to her mother, who had acted in a few films before this little girl came up. Not only did she make a big name for her in South India, but she ruled the roost in Mumbai. What more could an actress born in South India dream of than having acted from Bharat Bhushan to Pradeep Kumar to the big three, Dilip Kumar, Devanand and Raj Kapoor. The heroine I'm referring to, tall, pretty, beautiful, great dancer, a Carnatic music singer, former member of parliament, a golf player, born in 1936 and still looking active and good, Vaijanti Mala. Made her debut in 1949 in a Tamil film called Varkai, which was also made in Telugu as Jivitam. She's done some amazing films. She's done Bahar, Ladki, Nagin with Pradeep Kumar. She did Devdas. Uh, she's done two films with Bimal Roy. She did Devdas. She did Madhumati with him. Then she's done uh, Sadhna, a film that won her a Best Actress Award under B.R. Chopra. She also gets an award again, a Filmfare Award for Ganga Jamuna and again Raj Kapoor's Sangha. She's a winner of the Sangeet Natak Academy Award. Interestingly, she's acted with all the top actors, not just in Bollywood as I named to you, uh, the three big names. She's acted with Rajendra Kumar, Shami Kapoor, Dharmendra. I uh, went back in time to Pradeep Kumar, Bharat Bhushan, you name them and she's acted with almost all of them. Interestingly, she's also acted with big film stars of their times from across the country. She's done Uttam Kumar, Choti Si Baat, Choti Si Mulakat. She's acted with N.T. Ramarao, she's acted with Jemni Ganesh, she's acted with almost everybody who's there. From the girl who sang Ina Meena Dika, Daida Madika, to the lady who played Amrapali and sang Tadap Ye Din Raat Ki, Kasak Ye Bin Baat Ki to that absolutely stunning song that she does in Sangam O Mere Sanam, O Mere Sanam Vaijinti Mala was an epitome of beauty Interesting side story about her It is believed that she was offered the role of Nirupa Roy in Divar which she refused to do or she agreed to do for a sum which Ashupra said I could make the entire film with. Vajanti Malabali, absolute beauty and worked out of her career as an actress with style. If Sunil Gavaska bowed out with that brilliant 97 as his final innings, 
she bowed out with a big hit, Rajendra Kumar's Gamar, the film in 1969. Vijayanti Mala, a beauty. A face that launched a thousand ships? No. But certainly the face that got the fumbling R.K. Banner back into reckoning when she put her hands on her chest and said, Mera dilya hai. It is about her that the poet said, Ma shair tu nahi, jab se deka maine tujko shairi aagi. What an actress. She had that very vulnerable look about her. A porcelain, hurt. There was a lovely hurt that she hid in her eyes. The open air actress who came to cinema at a very young age, born 57, came to act in Bobby 1973. And in 1974, even as her film was minting money at the box office, she bid farewell to cinema and walked away towards matrimony with a marriage that was as dramatic as her first film. She comes back to cinema in 1984, yet again, in all the glamour and all the beauty, when Ramesh Sippy created that magic with Kamala Hassan and Rishi Kapoor in Sagar. Incidentally, she wins the Best Film Fair Award for both those films. So when she returns to Indian cinema, after a hiatus of nearly a decade, she comes back a winner, unparalleled, I think, in the history of our cinema. If you think that this was an actress whose beauty was just that, no. She's done Kash, she's done Rudali, for which she wins a national award. She's done Drishti, whose grammar is amazing. She's done Lakin, Gardish. Somewhere one would like to believe that a beautiful actress is what Raj Kapoor made out of them. But if you look at actresses post Dimple Kapadia, nobody left that impact as a beautiful actress as Dimple Kapadia did. Zina Taman, Mandakini, etc. We won't go into that list. But as a gorgeous looking woman, Dimple had few to compare. I suspect that why her filmography is not complete is because she had lost out 10 crucial years of her cinematic career in matrimony, a choice she had made. No wonder as she walks in, Suresh Oberoi tells her, Kisi nazar ko tera intazar aaj bhi hai. Dimple Kapadia, an amazing ethereal beauty. At position number three is an actress who was born in 1967 and made it seven times to the Forbes list. Made a debut in a very lackluster 84 film, Abod. But soon came out with all guns when she acted in films like Tezab, Ram Lakhan, Kalnaya. The announcement was there. She's won Four film fair awards, Dil, Beta, Hum Aapke Hain Kaun, and Dil to Pagal Hai. Very interestingly, one of the people of beauty that I was talking about some time ago was Vajenti Mala, who refused to take her first nomination as a film fair award winner because she was nominated for the best supporting actress in Bimal Das Devdas as Chandramukhi. The award again comes to Chandramukhi, this time to Madhuri Dikshit, when she does it in Sanjay Leela Bansali's uh, film. And this time Chandramukhi walks up and takes the award for the Best Supporting Actress. She's done some very important films like Fire, Lagja, Pukar, where she plays a very interesting negative role. But most importantly, I would say that she had that radiant smile, that made her absolutely beautiful. Some people carry out this mood debate whether she was more beautiful or not than 
Sri Devi. I won't even go there. I think the approach towards uh, looking at beauty, however subjective, is I don't think that's the area for debate. Um, she also participated in the near swan song of Raj Kapoor's uh, banner when she did Prem Granth. It was true that with her smile, the hero justifiably said, Charso Charlie's vault hai, chuna hai mana, dil. And when the audience saw her, whether she danced, whether she was vengeful in Anjam, whether she was that lovely spirited girl singing songs at her sister's wedding, for everyone, when she was on the screen to an entire generation of film viewers, dhak dhak karne laga. Madhuri Dikshit. An eternal favorite for interviews, Grace is her middle name. Class is written all over her. Born in South India again, I think Rajamandri. She has a national award. She has a lifetime achievement award. She made her debut in a Telugu film with a dance item in the film Rojulu Marali, 1955. Interestingly, it is said, the Gurudat who saw her in the dance wanted her to come in and act in Hindi cinema. It is also believed that the dance was so popular that it was played after the film again for people to watch, a la today's item songs that come in as the titles roll by. She set the trend. Interestingly, when she came into Hindi cinema, she also started off with a single song in a Raj Kosla film, again involving Gurudat, which was CID. Kahi pe nigaye, kahi pe nishana. What an actress. Look at her in the black and white Kagas ke pool. It looks like Gita that's Vakht ne kiya kya hasi sitam tum rahe na tum hum rahe na hum was somewhere an angst that she translates so beautifully in the film. The, her two award winning films. One, a very bold role in her times. She plays Rosie or Nalni in Vijay Anand's directed guide. She comes back with a very sobby story when she gets another Filmfare Award for her film, a performance in Ramaheshwari's Gulshananda novel, Neel Kamal. But for beauty and acting, watch that single scene before the interval in Kabhi Kabhi when Neetu Singh enters the house. There's fear, there's anxiety, there's warmth, there's happiness, and above all, there's that class that is the signature of Bahida Rahman. Uh, as an innocent girl, Bhavra Bada Nadan, she looked so winsome. Then take her, she's acted with big time actresses, Meena Kumari, Sahib Bibi Aurgula, Mala Sina, Pyasa, Ulfat, Sadna, and after big time multi starers came, she's done films with Rakhi, Neetu Singh, everybody, and uh, held her own every time she acted in a film. I think when the poet wrote the title song for that Gurudath film, Abra Ralvi is said to have directed it, but I suspect it's Gurudath again, Chaudhvi Kachand. The poet says, Zulfe hai jaise kande pe badal, badal juke huye, aankhe hai jaise mein ke pyaale bhare huye. Masti hai jis mein pyaar ki tum wo sharab ho, chaudhvi ka chand ho, ya aftab ho, jo bhi ho tum khuda ki kasam la jawab ho. And in her own voice, in her own screen presence, she would say, Na me sapna hu na koi raz hu Ek dard bhari awaz hu Piya ter na kar aamil Kahin deep chali kahin dil 
a great beauty, a classist, an amazing beauty, Vahida Rahman. When you speak of beauty, you cannot forget and you cannot close the chapter without referring to the most beautiful of them all. Mumtaz Jehan Dehlvi, born 1933, unfortunately left this world premature, 1969. Madhubala, what beauty! Can you imagine the lady who just goes around in Mahal, Hora Bridge, just imagine her in Barsat Ki Raat or any film. There's something Marilyn Monroe about her. Maybe it's her short career, maybe her tragic end. The story is that she is what makes cinema. It is very unfortunate that somewhere she was so beautiful that people lost the actress in her. And very paradoxically, the only time she was nominated for a Best Actress Award, Mughal -e Azam, she lost it to another actress who was just the converse. She was such a great actress that people overlooked her beauty, Nutan, who won it that year, I think, for Sujata. Madhubala will always remain the girl who came, went in black and white and came out of Kala when she did. Mohabbat ki chuti kahani pe roye, badi chhut kai jawani pe roye. And then very authoritatively, very defiantly came back to sing Pyar kia to darna kia in Mughle Azam. I'd leave you with this. The five great beauties of our cinema. Vaijanti Mala, Dimple Kapadia, Madhuri Dikshit, Wahida Rahman, and above all, eternal, the Venus of Indian cinema, Madhubala. Thank you for signing in. Do give me your comments and do share your list of five with me. Thank you very much. See you again. Ravi Chanda signing off.